So one of the interesting oral abstracts that were presented um, in the oral ab clinical ab oral abstract session today was looking at long-term uh, thyroid hormone suppression in thyroid cancer patients and how that affects um, overall uh, recurrence of disease or disease-free survival. Dr. Aubrey Carhill from MD Anderson and her associates um, from the National Cancer Thyroid Cooperative Group have had a long-term registry looking at almost 5,000 patients, which is impressive for thyroid cancer, and following them over the long term to see if um, excess uh, thyroid hormone can uh, improve disease-free survival. So we know that in thyroid cancer that giving patients excess thyroid hormone will um, decrease the recurrence risk, but the question is how much thyroid hormone suppression is needed. And so in this study of nearly 5,000 patients, when they followed these patients, they found out that in higher stage disease, radioactive iodine does improve disease-free survival, which was confirmed with their previous findings, as well as a uh, total or near total thyroidectomy. However, um, this uh, study was specifically designed to try and see if thyroid hormone suppression um, also adds to that. And what they found was that thyroid hormone uh, suppression is important for the first three years uh, in, patients on, um, in patients with thyroid cancers or thyroid cancer survivors, but perhaps we don't need to suppress these patients beyond, beyond three years. And the second finding was that we don't need to overly aggressively suppress these patients. So there's different degrees, because thyroid hormone suppression has adverse events or side effects that are associated with it. If you give a patient too much thyroid hormone, you can increase risk of atrial fibrillation or an irregular heart uh, heartbeat, and um, you can increase your risk for osteoporosis and fractures. So trying to define how long should we suppress these patients for and weigh the risk versus benefit is important. And so their findings are important that these patients don't need to be aggressively suppressed to an undetectable level of a TSH, but rather somewhere in what they defined as a moderate um, thyroid hormone level. What they couldn't tell us is the exact TSH that these patients should um, have. So it was an interesting study with important findings that a lot of us had a gut feeling about but didn't have the data to back us up, and now we have about um, several thousand patients' uh, data showing that that will be important.